social order, dominance, and hierarchy are names that have been widely used for the phenomenon that within a pair of animals, the behavior of one may be inhibited by the other, as defined by Bell, Hertz, and Keep. Understanding the social behavior of an animal is key to understanding the animal. Social organization provides order that is highly adaptive to wild and domestic animals. Order reduces fighting and competition, making it possible for all animals in a herd to acquire food, water, and rest. Cattle are naturally herd animals who work together to defend the whole group. A unidirectional hierarchy is generally observed in cattle where cow A is dominant over B, dominant over C, and so forth. According to Benjamin L. Hart, there are certain factors that influence social rank. The size of the animal is very important. Here we see two small bulls immediately submitting to a larger bull. Presence of weapons such as horns often increases social standing. Territoriality and seniority can give an advantage as well. Those animals familiar with the area and those who have been in the group the longest tend to be dominant. Older bulls are often at the top of the social order. The two bulls seen here are aged 7 and 11 and their positions are secure in the hierarchy and are not participating. The temperament of each individual can contribute to position, however it is not always a determining factor. In these two young bulls, the bull on the left has a relatively submissive personality compared to the bull on the right. Mounting is a sign of dominance. Alliances can be important. Animals associated with dominant animals often have a higher social rank. Sex is the last factor where males are generally dominant over females. Different social interactions help determine dominance among cattle. A defensive posture is necessary to prevent injury to the animal. They position the body in various ways to accentuate the size of shoulders and strength. The head is kept in a rigid position and eyes remain focused on the threat. The dark red cow in the middle demonstrates this defensive stance. Bulls stand parallel to each other but in opposite directions known as the inverse polar position. A threatening position is demonstrated by eyes directed towards an opponent, head lowering, pawing of the dirt and the mouth open accompanied by vocalization. Often, a bull will emphasize a threat by butting the other's flank or shoulder. Bunting is a retaliation of the threatened individual with a head lightly hit and then fighting may escalate into head-to-head -head pushing with considerable force. Fights are often broken up when several other bulls join in and drive off the new bull. Dominance relationships are determined by both observations of aggressive behavior as well as submissive behavior. Submissive animals play a role in determining social behavior within a herd by avoiding dominant animals and keeping spatial distance between themselves. This yearling heifer is immediately submitting and seen as no threat. She leaves the group quickly. Once social order has been established, it becomes relatively static. Subordinate animals have learned to submit to dominant animals and this becomes fixed unless there is a disturbance that causes the learning of a new relationship. This could include introducing a new animal to the herd or individuals changing size over time. Bulls' social hierarchies are more likely to alter than females due to the presence of testosterone and physical changes. Social hierarchy is very important to understand in order to ensure good husbandry practices.